with the Chamber of Commerce that's serving Johnson City, Jonesboro, and Washington County. And, and today is what we call a Chamber of Commerce kind of day. And Dr. Skundike, you, uh, thank you for ordering this. And perfect day. Uh, a great opportunity uh, to come together as a community and celebrate uh, the investment and the work that's all been put together uh, by this organization to do the cool things. As, as, as I told Dr. Skundike earlier today, I'm, I'm part of that older generation who's getting there that may be a patient sooner than I want to be, but I'm glad that you're here. And and it's 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 important. A lot of people are moving into our community and they're asking about what is the quality of, of health care? What is the quality of of how can I stay fit? And, and what opportunities do I have to to uh, be involved in a healthy community and so we celebrate what you're doing here and what you're providing to make Johnson City a very healthy community and it's not only just Johnson City it's many people are coming from around the region uh, to be here and to be a part of this so on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce and the business community we want to say congratulations uh, we're very excited for what you're doing and the opportunities that you will be providing for our community to be healthier and have services here close to where they're located. So again, uh, we celebrate what you're happening today. Uh, with that, I would like to introduce a friend of mine who is our representative uh, for a, a state representative here. Rebecca Alexander is uh, a, a great champion for a lot that is going on in our community. Uh, she has been an advocate for our education system, our workforce, our health industry, and all that's here, and I'm very excited that she's here today to celebrate with you. And Rebecca, Representative Rebecca Alexander. It's an honor to be here today. I can't tell you how excited I am that this is taking place. This is something we've needed in this community, and Rob, uh, there you looked on me, um, called, I guess, 2021, maybe in December 2021, said, can you come talk to us? And um, they told us what their vision was, and uh, um, we wrote letters in support when they had to file a certificate of need, and um, we're, we're, I'm just so excited that it's finally come about. I think all the staff here that makes our health care good in this state and good in this end of the state in East Tennessee we need each and every one of you you make such a difference in the lives of our people and I can't thank you enough for that um, I thank you Dr. Knight, for your vision for your for your business for your vision and how you care for people and for all the doctors here Thank you all uh, so much for everything you do, and we're so proud of you, and from the state of Tennessee, we're thrilled of what you're doing, and we thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I have a few notes prepared so I don't forget things. And Minded. It, it is what it is. Unfortunately, we can't treat that here. <laughs> My name is Rob Gregory, and I'm the Practice Administrator and CEO. It's a great time to be a caring heart. And although it's not an easy time, it's a great and exciting time. And today is a great day for all caring hearts. While there's approximately 200 cardiovascular surgery centers across the country, we're not aware of any that exist in the state of Tennessee until, of course, today. The American, Cardio uh, the, the American College of Cardiology and the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention have long endorsed moving the types of procedures that will be performed in this facility out of the hospital. Last week, the Heart Rhythm Society sent a letter to CMS endorsing the movement of same-day procedures, ablations, from hospital setting to ambulatory surgery centers, just like this one. Caring Hearts is leading the way to providing cardiovascular care that is not hospital-based, 
yet convenient, effective, and far less expensive than alternatives in the state-of-the-art facility, which you're just about to get a chance to see. We could not be more excited and more proud. I'd like to take just a minute and thank a few who've been immensely helpful along the way. Brandy, Travis, and Pop Events, thank you for helping us pull this together rather short notice. To everyone from the independent physician community, thank you for your support, cheers, and high fives along the way. To all of the current and past staff of Caring Hearts, thank you all so much for being an important part of this journey. I'd like to thank my wife, Reese, for her support and patience. Darlene Morell, whom without, we very likely would not be sitting here this evening. Thank you, Darlene. I'd like to thank Tim Atterbury, who's not with us this evening, for his graces, for graciously sharing his wisdom and expertise along the way. And Dr. Schoondyke, thank you for your vision and your unwavering commitment to the cause. Thank you all again so much for coming and supporting us in our endeavor. Please enjoy yourselves, be safe, enjoy the tours and the facility. Thank you. Okay, the last is least. Um, so, um, gosh, it's hard to follow that, but one thing that Rob did say, uh, well, for, you know, first of all, if you don't know me, I'm, I'm Dr. Schoondyke. <laughs> Whatever you've read, forget, unless it's good. <laughs> it's probably true, though. Um, I can say um, a couple things um, from what Rob said. Um, you know, you thank, you try to thank everybody and you always forget. And I, I can say, um, you know, we, we would not be here um, without a, a couple of very, very key people. Um, Darlene, absolutely. I can tell you this place would not ex exist without Darlene. Um, we met, I don't know, about six, eight months ago, whatever the case was. And um, I'll never forget when she, uh, when she talked to me, she says, uh, she says, Dr. Schoondyke, uh, if I'm on the team, you will have an ambulatory surgical center. And I said, Darlene, those are pretty strong words. I said, I, I take that very seriously. I said, does that mean if you fail, it's your fault? I won't fail, she said. I said, well, you are very confident. I said, I like that. Now, eight months, nine, ten months later, uh, after hours and hours of torture, too many people, including myself, she really has carried the torch for this whole situation. You just don't know how much work went into this after the new four-letter word C-O-N was approved. <laughs> so if you're looking for a good four-letter word when you're yelling at your kids, just call them a C-O-N. Because <laughs> that's what it felt like. But we won. Absolutely. But I digress. Today's a happy day. Darlene, I just want to say how much I appreciate you. Thank you. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Please give her one more round. You have no idea. Let me go back a couple of years, like Rebecca had alluded to. Uh, we started this, what seems like an eternity now, 2021. Um, any of you that have been following the progress or lack thereof at times knows that it has been a significant struggle, but I firmly believe nothing worth having uh, is easy. And um, one of the people that we need to recognize um, is Rob. Um, well, there's been so many people and please if I don't mention your name please don't don't take it uh, that I didn't think of you because um, Rob and I have been together for a long time um, 
he's one of the original OGs. Um, I don't know how long it's been, 10, 12? I don't even know, Rob, how long has it been? How many? 13, even better, for goodness sakes. Um, but anyway, um, way back when, when we started this process, I mean, I go to him and say, hey, I want to get a cath lab. He laughs, <laughs> okay, yeah, right. Well, I, 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 every day, hey, where's our cath lab? Where's our cath lab? You just really don't understand what the, what the time, the work, the frustration, the anger, the joy, the highs, the lows throughout this whole process. And I will tell you, it, it takes a lot out of a person. It, it really, truly does. Between our good friend, the attorneys, who we love, <laughs> um, and the state, and the process, and the documentation, it's really overwhelming. And I can tell you that I get to be up here and we all get to say nice things, but it's the people behind the scenes that made the difference. Rob and I spent hour after hour after hour, week after week, month after month, year after year, preparing for this. And uh, he's really the second person um, that I want to mention that without him, we wouldn't be standing here today. It is a monumental achievement what he and Darlene did. I am along for the ride. I get to take all the credit. Everybody looks at me like I'm the glory guy, but I didn't really do much. Uh, I talked when I was asked to and stood up there and threw a few punches here, here and there and landed a few and took a few. But uh, ultimately the work was from Rob early on. And I think that uh, I would really appreciate it and I know he would appreciate it if you'd all give him a big round of applause. Finally, um, I just want to say uh, there's a couple of people here who have really are the OGs, okay, and they're the original people that have been with us literally since day day one, okay. Um, there's Rob's 13, and I think there's a 15. I think there's two 15s. Is that right, Dave? 14. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing in this climate that somebody would stay at a job for that, that long of a time, especially when we were by ourselves and I was a one-dock shop and all hell was breaking loose and they always kind of stuck with me and I, and I think that they need to be recognized in a, on a day like this. Um, they are the kind of people that you look for. They hold your organization together when it starts to have a few cracks and it's really it's inspiring and I would, be, I would be a bad boss if I didn't recognize them. Um, so I'm going to ask Dave, come on up. JB, come on up. We'll start with Dave. Uh, I've known Dave for 20 years. And um, circumstances were such that I had a new practice and Dave needed a job. This is the second time I've seen Dave in a suit. <laughs> Let me tell you the first time I ever saw Dave in a suit. He called and said, hey, you want to, can I work with you? I said, great, Dave, I'd love to have you. Dave knows everything there is about devices, pacemakers, defibrillators, all that kind of stuff. I said, man, I could really use you. Okay, doc. So uh, at that time, JB, she was already with me. So we set up a lunch, an interview, and we went to, what was that place, JB? Oh, Charlie's. I told you how long ago it was. That place has burned down, hasn't it, for goodness sakes? Been rebuilt three times. So, Anyway, so we walk into Oh, Charlie, and there is Dave Mackley in, guess what, a freaking suit. I never forget that. I've never seen Dave in a suit. Well, that's the kind of person that you want. He took it seriously, and he stuck with it. Dave and I have a long history, um, and we really... Um, we go back and forth off each other, and that's that's kind of our, our strength. He'll throw a punch, I'll take it, I'll throw one back, and, and he takes it. But long story short, uh, it's people like Dave who make the organization strong from within, which is what you need. Um, and I don't say it enough, but um, Dave, um, I'm just real proud um, of you and how you've stuck with it. Um, you're just an invaluable resource to our organization. and so. Please give Dave in his second suit without his funeral a round of applause. All right, the 
original OG. So here's a funny story. <laughs> Circumstances happened. I was starting my practice. Everybody's crazy. He ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it. So I'm going back and forth one 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 day out in Gray and seeing patients and I the, and the phone rings. Pick it up. It's JB. Well, Julie is I, I call her JB, but her, her name is Julie. She calls me and she says she was shaking in her boots, Dad, and she says, uh, what do you think about me working with you? I said, well, hell yeah. <laughs> um, now think about this. I want you to think about this. I'm a solo guy. I barely have my practice going. This is, is it 15 years now? Is it 15? 2011? 2011. So what, 14? 14 years now. Um, I said, great, no problem. But I want you to think about the context. She's a nurse practitioner. She had a really good job, good stable job. Um, well respected by her peers. Uh, and she's asking me for a job. And I thought, wow, that's really fan fantastic. She's either been drinking, which she probably was, actually, now that I think about it. Um, or she really believes in us. And I'll tell you a little story that not many of, of you know, but for the first three and a half years, um, Julie and I were by ourselves. We were solo. Um, to, to, to illustrate what that means in our world, in our healthcare setting, that means I'm on call every day and every night, 24-7. There's a gentleman sitting over, over, over here in the green scrubs, Dr. Hamadi, you all know him. Say hey to Dr. Hamadi. Every now and then I would ask him, hey, can I have a, can I have a night? Can you cover me? Can you, can you help me? Never once did he say no. Ever. Never did he say no. Foss, thank you for that. It's, it was a wonderful thing that you did for me. Back to JB. I'm on call every, every, every day. Well, guess what? She's on call every day. We'd go back and forth to the hospital from, from the office. Crazy people. We'd climb in and out the window in the back of our old, old office because we didn't want to go through the front door because the patients were waiting and they were mad at us. <laughs> no kidding. At that point, that means Julie has to take call too. She's on, she's on call every other weekend with me. She's got a one-year-old daughter, wonderful family. We did that for three and a half years. When you think about that, that level of commitment is really just, I've never seen it before. Um, the third person that I want to say that this would not be happening is Julie Bentley. Julie, thank you so much. All right, enough about that. Uh, this is a wonderful day, and I'm so very proud and thankful for everybody coming. Uh, we have a great facility uh, to, sh to show you. Hopefully none of you will ever have to utilize it. But if you do, I can tell you that all these providers, there's Dr. Coley, there's Dr. Coley. say hey Dr. Coley, <laughs> Dr. Garcia, Dr. Haddadden, Dr. Nick, and our NPs, George, April, Alicia, Whitney, and JB, we will be here to take care of you. We'll do the right thing every time, no questions. We will give it 100%, and we'll give you the best we have every single day. For that, I would like to close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for um, this wonderful day and all that you've given us thus far. We are appreciative of the vision, those of us around us that have helped, have led us, have supported us, have lifted us up when we are very, very deep. We want you to make this place uh, a joyful place that helps people. And it is you, Lord, that leads. We just follow. It is in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Come on.
right, I'm going to cut the ribbon now. Um, and so anybody from Caring Arts who'd like to come up and be part of the ribbon cutting, please do so and come up here and then we'll go, th go through the facility, okay? Thank you. 